Once upon a time, in a small village nestled between rolling hills and a tranquil river, there lived a young boy named Koji. Koji was known far and wide for his wisdom, which was surprising given his tender age of 18. The villagers often sought his advice, hoping to gain insights that would ease their worries. One sunny morning, as Koji sat under his favorite cherry blossom tree, an elderly woman named Mei approached him. She had a troubled look on her face, her wrinkles etched deep with concern. Koji, Mei began, I've been feeling so lonely lately. My children have all moved to the city, and I have no one to talk to. The silence in my house is deafening, and my heart aches with solitude. Koji looked at Mei with empathy in his eyes. He knew that loneliness could be as vast and endless as the night sky. After a moment of thought, he smiled gently and said, Mei, let me share a story with you. Mei sat down beside Koji, eager to hear his wisdom. Long ago, Koji began, there was a great samurai named Hiroshi. He was renowned for his bravery and swordsmanship, but he was also known for his solitude. Hiroshi lived in a small, humble cottage at the edge of the village, far away from the bustling life of the town. Mei listened intently, curious to know how Hiroshi's story related to her own loneliness. One day, Koji continued, a curious traveler ventured to Hiroshi's cottage to inquire why the great samurai chose to live alone. Hiroshi welcomed him warmly and said, being alone is not being lonely. In the solitude of this place, I have found inner peace and strength. I have learned to befriend the silence and make it my companion. Mei pondered Hiroshi's words, and a spark of understanding began to flicker in her eyes. Koji continued, Hiroshi explained that being alone allowed him to connect with his inner self. He practiced meditation and spent time in nature, finding solace in the company of the trees and the songs of the birds. He said, in solitude, I have discovered the true essence of life. Mei smiled at Koji, beginning to see the wisdom in Hiroshi's way of life. Koji went on, Hiroshi's solitude was not a mere absence of people, it was a presence of something greater. He cultivated a garden of inner peace, where the flowers of self-reflection and the trees of wisdom flourished. He said, loneliness is like the darkness before dawn. It is in that darkness that the stars shine brightest. May's heart warmed as she absorbed these words. She felt a sense of hope growing within her. Koji concluded, May, loneliness is a feeling that stems from a lack of connection with oneself. Just as Hiroshi found peace in solitude, you too can find companionship within yourself. Embrace the quiet moments, nurture your passions, and you will discover that being alone can be a beautiful journey of self-discovery. May thanked Koji for his wisdom, feeling a newfound sense of hope and understanding. She left with a lighter heart, determined to make her solitude a friend rather than an enemy. From that day on, the villagers noticed a change in May. She no longer spoke of loneliness but instead shared stories of her daily adventures and the joy she found in her own company. May had learned a valuable lesson, being alone is not being lonely, and within the solitude, one can discover a world of inner peace and self-fulfillment. And so, the wisdom of young Koji and the tale of the solitary samurai, Hiroshi, continued to inspire the villagers, reminding them that even in the quietest moments, the heart can find its greatest treasures, and the journey of self-discovery is an endless adventure waiting to be explored.